just share a bit about maybe overcoming the difficulty and the internal struggle about just coming to God or coming to God again. And, you know, we're singing the song Surrender. Maybe that doesn't sound nice to people. That may not be the kind of language they like. But at the end of the day, what does God have in store for them? The struggle for, for me was um, I felt like I had something to prove. Mm. And um, I was born in a church, and so I was a, a part of it for a long time. But it wasn't until I was 24 that I chose to commit my life to Christ for myself. And it took me so long because I looked at my life and the opportunities that I had and the exposure I had, and I felt like I had to prove something to people. Mm. And I felt like I had to prove something to God to, to, mm. to show him that I was worthy to come to him. Mm. And um, it delayed me and, um, wow. for a long time. And I actually ended up going down a very dark path into a world that I really shouldn't went into for a long time, mm. all because I didn't have the help that he promised to give me if I would just surrender to him. And um, I know that I talked to my, my, my friends and uh, my guy friends, it was, it, was a, it was a common struggle for a lot of us just to surrender to God because it made us look weak. Yeah. It made us look like we didn't have life together. And it was like, what kind of man is that that has to run to an altar? Um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and get all emotional. And um, the best way I can say it is that one way or another, we're all gonna reach a breaking point. Yeah. Come on. Um, the, the sooner you do it, the better. Because there's people, there's a world that's waiting on you to walk in your gift, and Jesus is that key. There's no way to access your full potential without God. Come on. And so as much effort you may put into it, no matter how hard you try, I was listening to one song, and it was telling me, as a man, it's not about how hard you try. It's about how much you surrender. Mm. You don't have enough strength within your human body. You don't Come have on. enough logic in your mind to do a, even a taste of what God can do if you just surrender to him. God is that, that accelerator. He takes the smallest effort, the smallest seed of faith, and he can make, like he says in his word, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain with that. Try to move a mountain without faith. Mm. Try to move it with your degrees. <laughs> Try to move it with your looks. Mm. Try to move it with your muscle. Mm. It ain't going to budge. <clears throat> God is your advantage. He is the one that accelerates every effort. He helps you to focus. He helps you to, to fix your mind mm. on things that really matter. I spent so much time, again, locked in this cage of, I thought I was free, but I was trapped in this cage of having to prove myself to people when I realized one day that they never really cared. Well, it was only God that really cared. Mm. God that really had an idea of, of what my purpose was and he, ex he exposed me to that. Yeah. So my encouragement in this time is simply if you feel any kind of inkling within you, if you know that you've been putting forth a lot of effort and you're not seeing the results, trust me, the missing ingredient is Jesus. Yes. The missing ingredient is God. And the quickest way to get there is what is the exact opposite of what the, what the world is telling you what a man does. The quickest way to get there is through surrender. Just give it up. So come on. Give it up.